That is no way to treat a company vehicle. I get my foot right up here under the handlebar. Okay, warm up ride. Let's put this into off-road mode. We'll get into full manual later. I'm calling this a warm up ride because we've been out here on our dirt bikes lots, but not so much on the adventure bikes. Look at these babies. Nice. Okay, let's go. This is where a lot of our adventures start. It's been very rainy this year. It's near the end of June. It's been awesome for dirt biking, so we've been out on the little bikes lots and lots. We just started to get the adventure bikes out. Today we're going to make sure we know what we're doing. We're in pretty good shape from all the dirt biking. But uh, these guys weigh at least twice what our dirt bikes weigh. Different strategies, different trails, right? So if you have interest in riding something like this, this is a good example here. A little bit of a gnarly section, not too crazy. Check out the adventure bike gathering.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We'll keep you posted, let you know what's going on, and make sure you check out YouTube because we're about to do a whole pile of videos showing you guys and girls what we've got up our sleeves for this year. Man, these big bikes are a lot of fun. You know, some people ask us, well, why don't you get a 790 or a 701 or a new? Tenray, Tenray 700. You know why? They're too much like our dirt bikes. This is a tanker. This thing's huge. Completely different. Now, I am going to have the very good fortune of riding a 790 in, uh, on Thursday. It's Tuesday right now. And then the Tenray is coming to hang out with us for two weeks. Starting uh, really soon. We're going to be filming those bikes together, getting our impressions of the different rides. But this is what I'm bringing to the party. KTM 1090. She's a little hefty. All right. Whew, I gotta stay loose in the grip, right? Get a little tense when I'm riding this thing. Standing, staying loose, elbows out. Shock absorbing with my legs. Moving around lots. Trying to look ahead. After we're done this little ascent, we're going to head up onto the haul road. Just practice our haul road turning, carving on the gravel. And then we're going to do some trickier stuff. So this is kind of fun. It's a carty warm-up, let's say. Yeah. Man, these bikes are fun. It does need more power though, you know, this off-road mode, I don't know, it's good for technical stuff, but when we're going out here, we're going to put this back in sport, disable the traction control, play around with the ABS, and have some fun. Let's go do some turns. <laughs> I'm in neutral, what a loser. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, like I said, we're just getting warmed up. We want to make sure we remember how to turn these big tankers on the gravel. We're going to focus on our form a bit here. Okay, we got a good corner coming up here. Just focus on everything here. Elbows out, butt to the outside. Pointing my belly back in the direction of travel. Here comes another three corners. Dropping those handlebars down. Point for that chin. Nice, nice, nice. I'm right over top of that outside foot tape. Wait that outside peg, drop the handlebars in, keep the chest up, look through the corner, and mash it! Just like that. Here is our second checkpoint. 
nice overlook of our town Vernon, Kalamalka Lake, Okanagan Lake. Next we're going to be doing a big descent, so we'll get you these big bikes on that, and then we're going to do a nice long climb. dab on tape folks and that doesn't happen very often mr chisholm losing points early on in the game he may have a technical difficulty uh, i can't turn sharp anymore no nope. yeah climbing riding on flat and as you'll see in a second even going down on a big elephant like this it's fun, man. It's a whole different ball game. Packing around just shy of 500 pounds. Gotta pay the girl a little respect. This is the kind of stuff you guys can come and play with with us in September. So, book the time off. Come and play. So yeah, as we're descending hills, what are we thinking about? Uh, standing, of course. Weight way back, especially as it gets steeper. Look ahead. Front brake's gonna do most of the work, but we don't want to rely on it entirely. Gotta stay loose in the hands. You can use the engine brake by uh, being in the right gear and let the engine slow you down. We're talking about all this stuff, we're not even on a hill. Every trail that we're riding today is part of the adventure bike gathering. So if you see this kind of stuff, you're like, that looks all right. Then you might like what we have set up for you. Now this would be um, not intermediate. So there's definitely easier trails than this, and there are certainly harder ones. If you're going to be on a smaller bike, like a 450, street legal 450 or 500, even a 690, 701, you can downgrade things a little bit. This won't be that tough. If you're on a 1290, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, Andrew, hill climbing time. Check this out. Sport mode on. Push this button. Motorcycle traction control off. ABS is on, but in off-road mode. You're gonna see how that works. Yeah! Let's go! It's a nice long hill. That is a fresh, that is a big freaking mess is what it is. Come on, Andrew. <laughs> huh, I don't know, maybe up there. Look at me, Andrew, look at me. Look at me, come on. Just do it, man. Half mud, half cow poo. Oh, man. Oh, man. They got any handles in the poo. Here, Andrew, you grab the back. <laughs> so if you come to the Adventure Bike Gathering, you too can play in a poo ditch, just like this guy. What are you doing? They got a nice poopy handle for you to grab. Or no, you know what? Do the counterbalance thing. Get on that tire and pull on that and I'll do what I can here. Don't rip my thing right off. Try to grab the thick end. Yeah. Ready? Set? Hey! Oh god! <laughs> Alright, I 
I can get rid of that my legs. One, two, three. Are you able to reposition the upper bars? Yeah. I can hold this. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Just move fast. <laughs> oh, my foot's stuck. There we go. Good times. <sighs> Let's just come ripping up right there. I'll stay right here and film you. Well, maybe I'll get out of the way a little bit. Let's see some moves, come on! Oh, he oh, lost it at the last minute. Just went squirrely. Yeah, you just hit, it sucked you in and then you hit the wall like I hit. Bummer, dude. Okay, bye. Yeah. Well, here, let's lean it down. Mm -hmm. Try and pull it over. Oh, it's not so bad. I'm stuck. Wait, wait, wait. What's the matter? I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> More? Yeah. yeah. Get there, yeah. I think. Okay, I'll get right behind you and get the, the action shot. <laughs> oh, gross. That's not a good sound. The tire only went around like twice and it went bang bang. Yeah. Something's gonna break if you do any more of that. We cannot, for the life of us, get that tire to budge at all. It's so sticky. So we're gonna try something. We're gonna try and lift the bike up, 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 pivoting on the back tire and see if we can even lift it up. Okay, uh, when we're doing this, I'd like to try not to scratch it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Ah. 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 Are we at that spot? I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come with me. <laughs> Good camera angle. This is why we put grass bars on these things. Specifically. Okay. Next. Sweet. You guys catching this? This is crazy. Come here. Come here for a second. Okay. Pull her down. Ooh. There, good, I got it. Come on, baby! <laughs> uh, is it spinning? Yes. Okay. You are moving. Oh. Nice! If you remember correctly, I said let's go up the easy way. This is supposedly the easy way. Andrew's gonna go down now and come up the hard way, which is way easier than that. Okay, so we just finished getting stuck in a mud hole because we didn't want to come up here. Why not? It's way easier than getting stuck in a mud hole. It's a not so bad. The hill climb continues. It's gonna get harder and harder. At the very end, there are a whole bunch of roots. Oh, look at this. Boom. That's from the spring. The side by side, they really rotted this up. I think it was a side. 
side by side have been sitting there just digging a hole trying to get up over the roof. I mean, the last hard part where I have wiped out before. Well, I'll throw it right there. Nice. That's it. I noticed my stake pegs were a little bit slippery because my boots are covered in cow crap. Wow. We're way ahead of schedule on the calorie exertion. A little steeper. A little nasty. Hey. So the cool thing about the gathering guys, you don't have to ride this kind of stuff. Maybe this is Mamby Pamby. Or maybe this is not something you want to entertain. Either way, we can help. We can accommodate. Let's see how this is gonna go. Got a bit of a descent here, so we're gonna be getting way back over the back seat. Drag that rear brake down. Not sliding though. Keep in check with way ahead. And don't freak out. Don't freak out. Point out, I do not have stock suspension on this bike. I had Ian and Ryder's Edge suspension completely retune this for me. My level of aggression, my weight, that I stand all the time, and that I ride off-road all the time. Huge difference. Okay, we're gonna head down a bit of a tricky trail here. This is part of Salsa Shark, what we call the easier way. The crux of it is right around this corner. There's a bunch of roots, and it's not gonna look like much. And I'm coming down because they're all ledgy. There they are. This loves to take out all kinds of adventure bikes. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I blew it. I uh, locked up my front tire. I started bouncing. The front end started bouncing as it was going through all these roots. And I locked up the front tire for a sec. See? Right there. No big deal. Let's go. You don't dump your bike, you're not trying hard enough. But if you don't have bark busters and crash bars in your bike, you are crazy. Okay. Oh, it's not legal, that's the problem. There we go. Oh. Piece of cake. Don't let her get away on you. This is going to get a little bit spicy in here. Plenty for me on my first day of adventure biking this year. Yeah. The roots. Noise. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wouldn't even bat an eye on my enduro bike. My eyes are just wide open. Taking as much information as I can. What a thrill. I think the bigger the bike, the bigger the thrill, right? So we're gonna be out here in two days with Brandon, the superstar rider. He's gonna let me ride his 790. He's gonna ride this. He's got all kinds of experience on a 1090 as well. So I wanna see what that beast is like. Cause man, he rides it just like a dirt bike. Now he's way more skilled than I am. He's also 25 years younger than I am. But hey, come on. We all want to know what other people's bikes are like. And then Mikey's going to be back real soon. Mikey just bought a Tenere 700. He went into the dealership and there was one sitting there and he couldn't believe it because they were all sold out in Canada. He snapped that thing up right away. He says it's for his wife, but it's really for us to come and play on out here, right Mike? Right. So all these trails are part of the Adventure Bike Gathering routes. This would be another intermediate to advanced one. This is called Salsa Shark, the easier way. I believe we have it down for a three out of six, maybe a three plus. Going the other way is quite a bit harder, four or four plus. Oh, love it out here. You know what? And if you're looking for lots of scenery, hmm, we don't got scenery. Oh, hang on. I don't like the look of this. Am I gonna make it? Oh, didn't even touch noise yeah we don't have a lot of scenery here because we're always in the trees on these trails there are a few vantage points but it's not like going into cusp or revelstoke we just have views for days our views are what you're seeing right now awesome trails that's it you have been warned 
do this without touching, this is a tricky one. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, he stalls it. Oh. Another dab on the 1090. Shame. <laughs> well, that is my game. That's my game out here. I'm not trying to go fast. I'm not trying to look cool. I'm trying to never touch the ground. I treat this like a giant trials bike. You know what? I'll tell you a little secret. I can't touch the ground. I can't touch the ground on this without falling over. I barely, like when I stop, I'm tippy toes. I have risers in my boots, guys. Come on. I'm a little tiny guy. So that's the only way I can play this game realistically is try to never touch the ground. All right. That was fun. Check this out. This is awesome. Let's find some nice hard lines. That's a good hard line. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's it for today's video. We'll be back on Thursday with the 790. Next week with the Tenere 700. You can't wait. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go to the website. Sign up for our newsletter if you want to know about the Adventure Bike Gathering. That's it. Thanks guys. Wow.